So we we'll begin. So what is data? Data is basically facts or figures or information that is stored in or used by a computer. Anything, uh, depending on what you're researching, is data. It can be ima an image file. Let me just admit Linus. It can be an image file, uh, which usually takes the form of .png or .jpg, .jpg, sorry, or .jpeg. It can be an image file. It can be music, which is either .mp3, .wav, etc. It can be a document, which can be a .xlsx, which is an Excel file. It can be a .docx, which is an, a Word document. Then .pdf, which is a PDF document. .pptx, which is a presentation, PowerPoint presentation document. It can be anything depending on the type of research you're doing. So the type of data depends on the type of research you're doing. For example, if you're checking on road, road accidents progression in a certain county or a certain city, when you're checking for that, uh, the type of data that you'll collect is location data, which is basically the GPS, the longitudes, latitudes. You'll collect uh, traffic police per 100 kilometers, probably want to check also if the traffic police affect these uh, accidents. Uh, you can also check road signs per maybe a thousand kilometers uh, to see if uh, the road signs also have any effect on the road accident progression over a certain period of time. Because let's check the road type. Is it an A1 road type, which is uh, the best road type, or is it going towards the C to 50s, which, is, uh, which are the, road, the bad roads, the, or is it a Maram road, et cetera, et cetera. And see how this affects uh, the general uh, road accident progression of a certain period of time. Okay, let me let these people join. Linus and Mitchmash. Yeah. Linus is, uh, Mitchmash is in, but Linus is not nowhere to be found. Okay, let's continue. So basically, depending on the type of research that you're doing, with the the data that you'll collect or the data that will be used in this type of research is what will determine the type of uh, uh, data that will be used. So as I've said in road accident progression of a certain period of time, you can check on the number, also the number of vehicles per thousand kilometers on the road, the traffic policemen per thousand kilometers, the location of the road, uh, which can be a GPS uh, type of data, which is longitudes and latitudes, road signs per hundred kilometers, which can be uh, helpful in understanding if road signs affect road accidents or if the road type, if it's a very good road, an A1 road, or is it just a basic uh, C or D road? Uh, seeing how this affect uh, the ro road accident progression and try and see if you can help uh, this type of problem, solving these types of problems. Uh, also, if you are checking on something like effects of happiness in product productivity, uh, probably you have been contracted by a company, check if uh, happiness affects the productivity of its workers. The type of data that you might collect is how happy are the people on a scale of one to five, or one being very happy, five being very sad, or how much work do they do, or how much work do they get done, which is uh, basically uh, in a percentage form uh, per task they do, how much they get done on time, uh, how easy do they get their work done or how early they get their work done, uh, which is on a scale of one to five, very early or uh, very late, which is just in the nick of a deadline, uh, which can be preceded by a question, do you get your work done? If they say yes, you can ask them how early they get their work done. This is, uh, so the type of data you collect precisely de is determined by the research that you're doing. 